Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and this is a very special edition Patreon dedicated episode. Uh, a really good Patreon supporter of mine, Tyler, has been with me since almost the very, very beginning. Uh, he is at my highest tier, where I go out and I search, hunt, find a bottle of his request. He was looking at this Glen Allocky. This is a limited edition wine series. This one is the 13 year old Roja Cask Finish. Um, I was able to source this bottle thanks to some very awesome people in some of the secondary market groups that I'm a part of. Um, this came in and they were um, kind enough to send it to me um, at their cost. So very awesome. Um, the people in the whiskey community are so, so nice. So I was able to get this bottle uh, for Tyler. So again, this is the 13 year old. This is the Roja uh, finish. So um, matured in ex bourbon cask and then finished in Roja wine cask. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack this bad boy open. I'm gonna do a review of it and then I'm gonna send the rest to Tyler um, so he can enjoy it as well. If you wanna get involved with Patreon, you wanna to get to the uh, top levels of my tiers, you want um, me to go to work for you and source out a bottle, review it on your behalf, and then send you the rest, check out Patreon, it's the link down below. Um, of course, at that tier, you get guaranteed samples, you still get entered into the Drink My Bar giveaways, you get merchandise, uh, you get all the exclusive content, um, so it's a, it's a very um, very involved tier, um, so you can check that out in the link down below. So Tyler, thank you so much for giving me the honor of cracking this. I've never tried any of these before. Uh, the only experience I have with Roja wine casks is the Highland Park Twisted Tattoo, which I really, really liked um, that bottling. Um, so this one coming in at 48% ABV. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick little uh, first pour, little uh, neck pour here, kind of get my bearings on it, and then I'm going to take a couple days um, with a couple different tastings, like I normally do to do a full review with full notes. So first impressions, uh, right off the bat, really nice like subtle fruitiness to this, maybe like a little bit of um, toasted oak, a little bit of like graininess, a little cereal note, a little maltiness. Definitely some fruit, like a little red fruit, maybe like a little, some kind of berry. Hard to say. Again, this is just on first first crack. Very, very nice on palate. It's very creamy. It's very um, subtle with the flavors. I would say this is kind of like a very like elegant finish. Roja cast, very well balanced with the ex-bourbon, getting like a little bit of like honey notes in there. It's kind of reminding me of something like Belvini would do. Um, you know, something like their their 12 year old, their 17 year old, where it's two cast maturation, where you get a nice little balance, perfectly balanced with that ex-bourbon cast. This is like that. And now it's maybe turning into like what Highland Park is. <laughs> um, that Twisted Tattoo is kind of uh, bringing back memories in this glass for sure. Lots to unravel with this whiskey. I can tell that there's gonna be lots of like delicate, complex flavors in this thing is what I'm getting so far. All right, well, I'm gonna take my time with this, and again, I'll, I'm gonna give it the full review. So I'll try it a couple times on a couple of different days, do my notes, and I'll see you guys back here for the full review. Cheers. And I'm back. It's been about a week and a half. I have got to know this whiskey a bit more, and I am absolutely loving it. Again, so 13 years old. Spent the first 11 years in ex bourbon cast, then a two year finish in the Roja wine cast, part of a, of a series that Glen Alkley has recently released. The other two bottles are here, uh, they're all bottled at 48%. ABV. Let's see how this is on the nose. So one thing that comes right to the forefront for me is this like nice, subtle, but rich honey note. Uh, the honey note uh, runs through the entire whiskey onto the palate and to the finish. Really, really good. Nice and sweet. Reminds me a lot of the honey notes you find in something like a Balvini or something like a Highland Park. Very kind of similar characteristic to that. Oakiness, really kind of soft, um, very subtle oak. Um, definitely get like a white wine kind of characteristic, like kind of like a Chardonnay kind of like uh, essence to this. Orange peel, raspberries, like, like citrus notes and fruit notes come in. Um, very nice and subtle. Everything in here is very subtle in the nose, very complex um, and very, uh, very balanced as well. Yeah, like there's some leather in here. There's a kind of like a grape 
like a peeled grape, um, uh, kind of very subtle note. But again, delicious, um, elegant, very subtle, very light, um, but lots of complexity for sure on the nose. Very, very nice. I'm really liking it quite a lot. Let's go palette. So like I said, that honey note carries over. Even sweeter uh, on the palate and on the finish, for sure. Lots of malt characteristic to this, so like cereal, grainy kind of notes. Really good, really creamy. Very viscous on the palate as well. That 48% ABV, um, definitely required, I think, for this because how like subtle and like delicate this is. The 48% ABV brings it where it absolutely needs to be. I think maybe if they bottled this something that's slightly lower, might not get that intensity that you want from this whiskey. Like the delicate notes are so nice and they're very uh, pronounced. You can definitely pick them up without too much effort at all. Really like that about this whiskey for sure. Again, that sweetness, um, that uh, citrus kind of note comes through the orange, like, like a blood orange on the palate and on the finish is really, really nice. And then kind of transitions to like this nuttiness, I get like this almond, almond paste, marzipan kind of note going on. And then right on the very tail end, this like strawberry jam note that's like very sweet and very, very good. So overall, um, I would say that the whiskey is uh, very subtle, lots of like delicate notes to it, but at the same time, it's uh, very um, nice on the palate. Um, definitely a very, very enjoyable whiskey. Um, it's one that you can definitely spend some time with. Um, lots of complexity on it, which I love. I would say the finish, probably like a medium length. I guess that's the only complaint I would have is like the, the, the finish kind of dissipates quicker than you want it to. Um, makes you uh, want to take another sip right away for sure. Um, but great viscosity and I think they absolutely hit a home run with this one. It's uh, nice, uh, great complexity like I said. It's delicate without being weak, that 48% is uh, a great bottling strength for this for sure. Absolutely delicious whiskey. Uh, score wise for me on this one, it's 89 out of 100. Absolutely love it. Value for these, uh, I think you can find them at a pretty decent price. I'll put the UK price here of what they're selling for. 100% um, a buy at retail in my opinion for sure. Uh, Tyler, thank you so much for uh, selecting this one and I'm super happy I was able to pick it up uh, without much uh, of a problem. I'm not sure the global release of bottles of this, if I can find it, I'll put it here. I think it was around, I think it was under 10,000. So there's not a huge amount of, of these available, but if you find it uh, and you're a fan of something like a Highland Park uh, 18 profile, a Balvini 12 double wood profile, something kind of like that with, uh, you know, Glen Allenkey's own kind of twist on it. And of course, like the Roja cask, Oh, this is definitely for you. If, you're, if you've had the Highland Park Twisted Tattoo, which is a Roja cask finish as well, this one I would say is more delicate, more complex. The Roja finish is lighter. The Highland Park one is definitely more intense, I would say. But I think that I like this one more. I think that uh, the complexity of this whiskey is more so than that Highland Park. Um, but both great, great delicious whiskeys, uh, Roja casks, seem to be uh, working very well and with finishes. Um, from what I've tried so far. So if you want to get involved with Patreon, if you want to put me to work and uh, go out there and source a bottle for you, check out Patreon, link down below. There's lots of tiers. Uh, you can sign up, join, get some exclusive content, uh, get your name automatically in there for the Drink My Bar set this every single month. Uh, great lineup of bottles on that. And of course, the higher tiers, you get guaranteed samples. And uh, if you go up to the highest one, uh, I will go out there and source a bottle for you uh, at your choosing, of course, within reason. Uh, Tyler, thank you so much again. Uh, very much appreciated. Thank you for all the support on Patreon and thank you for everyone who is part of my Patreon. Really much appreciated. Let me know the Glenallachy um, wine cask finished 13 year old Roja cask. Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, and are you excited for more stuff coming out of the Glen Allocate Distillery? Seems like right now they are doing great things with all their finishes and their recasting. It seems to be working out very, very good for them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Very much appreciated. Cheers.